Hi guys, I'm Stix, Audio Video Production. Today I have the pleasure to present you the new plugin from uh, ML Sound Lab from the Ampel series, and this is called GNR. So before jump into the review, please consider to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about it. I have also an Instagram page where I post very fast, I post also unboxing about gear that I receive from companies all around the world. So you can see the goodies that I will review here on my YouTube channel before they will be published here on YouTube. And if you want to support more this channel, I have a buy me a coffee page link down below and you can get really great benefits. For example, three presets that I've made for these plugins with my own custom inputs responses will be available for free if you are a member of Buy Me A Coffee page. You have the link in the description. So let's start with the review. So this plugin is really, really simple. Basically, you have two different amplifiers. As you can see, this is the first one. It's called GNR Silver 1987. I think this is the Jubilee. So is the Marshall Jubilee is the amplifier used by Slash in the uh, recording situation for the Appetite for Destruction album. And the second uh, amplifier is this one, it's called Snake. There is this different Tolex. Here is written GNR Snake 1996. I think this is the amplifier used uh, by Slash in the Snake Pit uh, age. So is I think also in the first time of Velvet Revolver, so basically it's the vintage modern, Marshall vintage modern. I'm not really sure, but let me know if you know more about this. Talking about the knobs, the two amplifiers are the same. So you have the input, the presence, bass, middle, treble, master, gain and output. So if I change the amplifier, it's changing only the visualization. So only the design. The first input, this is really, really important because depends on your kind of uh, guitar and your uh, pickup. So depending on the pickup, you have to turn on or turn back to get the input level correct. So this is really important because the plugin need to have a correct DI signal. So basically you have to play really hard until you see this really tiny dot uh, start to blink in uh, uh, green color, I guess. So if you have basically the input like this, I can play. So nothing is happening. So I have to increase the input. Okay, this is my correct level because only if I play really, really hard, the LED is blinking in green color. Okay, this is my perfect DI signal. So let me introduce you the plugin and then I show you my three different presets to cover overall the sound of this plugin. Okay, so you have the pedal board. Basically, you have the noise gate, really, really helpful, compressor, drive, chorus, delay, and reverb. The reverb is stereo, but unfortunately, the delay is still mono. So you have the repetition without the reverb. It's mono. And always, when I try out a new plugin from ML Sound Lab, I hope to have a different delay. So to have a ping pong delay, a stereo delay, but always it's mono. So for me, this is a really, really downsize for me. Then of course you have the cabinet section. I really like the cabinet that is used here. You have three different uh, cabinet and speaker, let me say, the Marshall Snake V30. I don't know which is uh, this snake cabinet. Uh, you have the Silver T75, it's basically the G12 T75 um, speaker, I guess, and then the Vintage uh, 30 of the Silver cabinet. And I really like how this uh, kind of cabinet sounds, but I show you also with my own Marshall input response, which will sound just a bit more dynamic and more powerful. 
So then you have, of course, the MIDI section. You can assign whatever kind of knob you want to control with external MIDI device or inside, so with your DAW, for example. Um, basically, all is here. So let's listen some sounds. Let me show you maybe some of the uh, stock preset, and then I'll show you my three custom presets that you can download for free if you're a member of Bamiakov page. So from the silver lead, LA Rock. <laughs> Not bad. Let me show you also the different mic. So only with this microphone, Dynamic 57. Really, really bright. Change the speaker, T75. I like this cabinet. Rebo. And then the silver V30. The difference between the silver V30 and the snake. I think this cabinet is more scooped sound compared to the silver V30. Yes, there are much more mids here. Okay, let's listen the master volume. If uh, increasing the master volume, we can get more saturation and more saturation on the mid uh, frequencies. Yes, with the master volume at the half, basically, you can get more tight tone. Increasing the master, let me lower the output a bit. Just a bit more muddy, and this is normal for the saturation of the uh, final tubes. So I really like the behavior of this um, plugin because it really emulates the real behavior of a, a tube amplifier. So it's really appreciated. Let's listen now some other preset, for example, vintage. I think there are also some presets developed especially for the appetite for destruction sound. Uh, let me search a bit. This is Dreamy Clean. I think this is for the yeah. This is Paradise City. Okay, this one, now the sweet lead, I think it's for the sweet child of mine. But I already tested this and it's not really, really the same. <laughs> It's not really clear, there is too much bass. Instead, the sound that you listened at the beginning was made with my preset, which is the GNR Silver Lead here, mad slash with the IR. So it's made with this amplifier. As you can see, there are no bass, no any bass because I have bass in my impulse responses, so after the amplifier, and this is the key to get really tight tones. Uh, all the mids, 
just a bit above 6 the treble, master all the way up, and this is the sound. <laughs> It's really more tight. Basically, it's the sound of the plexi, but more pushed plexi. <laughs> I can also try with a, a stock cabinet. So as you can see, I'm using the Marshall 4x12 Mix 1, which is an import response from the package from Presets for All. You can also download the full uh, package of import response down below. Uh, let me try with stock cabinet. <laughs> My Okay, now the second preset is called Mad Welcome because I created this for the intro of the Welcome to the Jungle and if you want to use also this preset uh, without delay for the rhythm part. So let's listen. It's really ashy the sound because the sound of Welcome to the Jungle in the intro is really like this. Try to listen to the album. And without the delay, you can add basically the rhythms. <laughs> Okay, and now the last preset I made is with the snake amplifier, Mad Illusion. So this is for the vintage modern sound. And basically, is if you listen the the Don't Cry solo, it's really thin the the sound of the vintage modern. But there is this gritty sound. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
sorry but I have really really fat strings. Okay guys, so overall I really like the sound of this amplifier, I really like the pedal, but the pedal is always the same that you have in the all kind of MLS Sound Lab plugins. I like the cabinet that you have here, I like the sound of these three main speakers, but of course I always use my impulse response and I suggest to use impulse response because are shaped to get really tight tone and precise tones. Overall really great amplifier, is really similar to the sound of the slash, you have to tweak just a bit even if you have a really low amount of knobs, but you have to pay attention just a bit of movement of the knobs and you can really change the sounds. Really like the dynamic of this amplifier. Okay guys, you have the link in the description, you can try out the plugin as you want, you have the VST3, the AU unit, AAX and also the standard version. Really, really cool. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think about and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!